Yes, thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this exponential equation. And we are finding the value of x. So let's rewrite this 4 raised to power x here. And then we are going to have 2 raised to power x plus. Here we can write this one as also 2 raised to power x. Then all raised to power 2. Because when 2, you know, multiply this. As 2 raised to power 2 will give us 4. Then 4 raised to power x. Then divided by 2 raised to power x. Then equals to 3. So that's what we have there. And from here, we can say let a letter represent 2 raised to power x. So as to make our work easier here. So we can say let y equals to 2 raised to power x. Then anywhere we see 2 raised to power x now, we can put the value of y. We can put y. Then this will become y plus y square over y. Then equals to 3. And we can see that this 3 over 1 here, we can cross multiply here. And then we have y plus y square multiplied by 1. That's t y plus y square equals to 3 times y that's 3y and by the time we solve that we can bring this 3y to one side bring everything to one side so we have let's rearrange we have y square then we have plus y then take 3y here that's minus 3y then equals to 0 and from here plus y minus 3y that's minus 2y so we have y square minus 2y equals 0 we can easily solve this by factoring y y is common here y square we have 2y so we can bring y out and here remain y inside here then minus 2 left here then equals 0 so two numbers multiply the result is 0 it implies that either one of them has to be zero so that means here we have y equals to zero or y minus two equals to zero and from there y equals to zero here yeah? and this one when we take minus two there that's y equals to two so we have two answers here y equals to zero or y equals to two and don't forget that our y is 2 raised to power x. And on this side, 2 raised to power x, when we replace y as 2 raised to power x equals to 0, we discover that there is no solution on this side. So this one, we don't have any solution here. So now for this one, we have y 2 raised to power x equals to 2. And the 2 is also 2 raised to the power 1. So we can say that the base here are equal and therefore we equate the power. Then x is equals to 1. So we have x equals to 1 here as a solution for x. Then we can check from our expression given, our exponential equation given, if we put x equals to 1 here, that's 2 raised to the power 1 is t2, 4 raised to the power 1 is 4, 2 raised to the power 1 here is t2, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 4 rather, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 divided by 2, that gives us 3, so therefore our x equals to 1. We say thank you for joining us, and see you in the next class, bye for now.